Hello, my name is Reroll Zero, and welcome to another episode of Sarash Linecast. And uh, this next game, or the uh, or the the, to or the subject of this episode is Hear Me Out. Is a game called Boyfriend Dungeon. Um, uh, funnily enough, um, I at first I saw the trailer and I you know I thought it was a complete joke, and then there was kind of a sale recently for you know. Uh, or not a sale, but it was kind of like, um, I think almost a Microsoft, like, promotion for, like, Black History Month. And I saw it, and I was like, you know, why not? I just bought it, it was like, you know, 10, 20 bucks, or I don't remember what, what it costs. Anyway, I bought it, and, um, it's honestly a pretty solid game. Um, it's like, um, in all honesty, I know, I'm, I, uh... Like, it's a game that's so, like, solid and original and interesting. It honestly should have more exposure as a game or, you know, have more people try it. Because um, it's a dungeon-crawling uh, visual novel uh, dating game where you date weapons that have personalities. It's kind of like, um, I think there was a plot point around Bleach where the the swords in question were people or something like that at one point and I am kind of like okay I can kind of see that or understand that and um, so I kind of see it like that and the best part about it too is that you don't even have to really um, go on dates with the guys too you just you can you can be friends you can just hang out with them um, Especially since um, you you don't get the better versions or of attacks or um, uh, you don't get the better versions of attacks or, or perks of the weapon until you go on dates with them. So, um, but yeah, the the game is pretty solid. Um, if you have a chance, try it. Um, not not just the main point of the game is you know dating guys. There's there's also uh there's also a cat and uh non binary guy or girl or whatever you want to classify them as and uh um uh bi woman as well so even if you are not interested in the guys you can date the woman or the um, the cat, or the, again, the non-binary person, so, it's a very, um, it's a very fair game that, that, you know, not, you know, not just recognize, okay, if, if they, if you don't want to date the guys, then, you know, there's also three other options that, you know, that are okay, so, and even then, you don't have to, again, I think it's just, like, you don't have to push for romance, and, and neither is in, in anybody's storyline, for that matter, as well, so, which is good because then you could just be friends with them. So, that's a that's another thing too that like. Also, it's it's great that depending on like where you are at with like each person's story, it ties into each person's story as well. So like, um, the uh, there's a, there's a segment from the lady's story where she's a graffiti artist, right? And she says that she's, like, a secret international, like, known graffiti artist, so that, um, and she used to run with a group of people that, um, that, uh, were her cohorts and such. But at the same time, uh, or anyway, so when you get to that point in the story, when you're talking to the non-binary person, you can let out that you know that, that, or, you know that secret graffiti artist, and I'm going like, that's great that, you know, they tie into each other's stories and all that, and, um, I feel like it's, again, like, it kind of, like, com combines a, um, a well-thought-out kind of, like, almost, I would say, aspects of Mass Effect for, like, kind of, like, you know, having the first game lay the basis for, you know, your future relationships and then have them, you know, have them come back and be like, oh, you know, so-and-so said, 
and you defended this person and all that. So, it just it's it's pretty solid experience. And even though I, uh, for the majority of that, I was just talking about the um, about the dating aspects of the game. The the gameplay a- uh, aspects are really solid too. Um, it's kind of a bit easy. I I will admit, or as easy as difficulty, but at the same time, the game is. Um, I f- I feel like again the uh, weapons that you get slash the personalities. Um, one of them is one of them is really solid. The nine binary person is a glaive, but you can also toss that at enemies, so that gets really strong later on. And um. The dagger slash the cat claws, or the brass knuckles, they are um, the the woman and the uh, uh, gosh, what's it called? And the cat, they're really they do a lot of damage fast because they can swipe fast. So, um, so the game is kind of easy in the sense that even though there's a lot of enemies, sometimes um, it just depends where you're at. So sometimes. Uh, like um getting getting better at the game I haven't died so much I've only died on like a com- almost like a freak accident type thing and um but yeah each each weapon also again like so the glaive is really solid because you can toss it at enemies and I think part of the future perks is that when you toss it it will mobilize enemies and another thing is if you um like the the bear the uh, brass knuckles the cat claws, they they have like you have like a leap which puts you like um, a little bit away so you can um, so you can have a better dodge than your dodge maneuver or almost because you attack at the end of it too. Um, other than that, um, I think uh, I don't have anything else to add on on to the game. I would think that I almost want. Uh, if you if they if it's in the card for them the release DLC for the game because I think it really warrants it in the game you know there's no I I feel like and I'm not you know not sugarcoating it at all or anything like this the game has very you know no too little flaws because it I, I would say the only problem slash um, only um, uh, like, aspect of the game, I would say that just the character creation is kind of, I would say, left a little bit more to be desired. But I kind of get that, that it's more kind of a, kind of like Marvel column type thing where they don't want to emphasize too much of a, like, a secondary sexual characteristic, like, say, a woman or something like that. So that you would be more, um, you know, akin to so that you would not be, um, as, you know, putting it out there that, you know, that if you want to be referred to as a woman type thing. So, I understand that's what they were going for, um, but at the same time, I, I, I understand why they wouldn't change that. Um, but other than that, again, like, I would just, I, I honestly, and, uh, not, an, not another friend said this, but, um, I kind of get it where, like, a lot of indie games nowadays, they're either going for a pistol, uh, a pistol, a pixel aesthetic, or a individual art style. I prefer the games that go f- way more for an individual art style, because at the very least, it seems like they're trying instead of. And I know it's like with an indie game, you have to, you know, even if you have like good box art or whatever, and in the game it's a pixel. Um. I, I kind of understand that because it's like they they thought out the box art much later and they they fi- they finished the game first. So, but unfortunately, um, a lot of times with any games when they go for the pixels, it's not it's not a stylistic choice. It's just a basic ch- choice of like just trying to get it out there and sh- try and show them literally what you're made of, <laughs> so that you can, uh, you know, make a memorable impression and hopefully they'll buy your game, you know. So, but, um, so going, going back to that, is so I, I swear I prefer more games that are, it's very rarely when a pixel aesthetic for me kind of gets me, um, more interested. Like, um, like, uh, Street, Street Rage 4, 
was is a hand drawn aesthetic and it looks insanely good, right? And almost the same thing with when they uh, another the the same company that made Streets of Rage four is making um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, and it has a pixel aesthetic. And I'm going like you know that's not bad, and I but I kind of wish they would have gone for a hand drawn thing because because I feel like you know with again uh, same thing is that if you go for a hand drawn style it feels like you put more heart into it. Pixels are more again not to be rude to any developer that does put out a more pixel aesthetic. Um, again, it just uh, uh, because it's like with the pixel thing you can kind of it's more like unorganic I think I was going to say it's you know you can put it's like um data on a spreadsheet almost I would say and again no disrespect to the, the to the developers that put out the the pixelated games but again like I just want to see more uh hand-drawn animated games because I think um gosh what's it called not uh not iconoclast but um uh, gosh what's that game with the um with the with the lady with the lady protagonist and her friends allies um are like stuck in her head i i know that game that game is pretty so or from watching it the game's pretty solid um i haven't played it yet because i've been like you know um there's there's a lot of games to um to you know like look at and and see the aspects of them that are enjoyable as well so um again uh, in all uh, retrospect, I think again, a, a animated or hand drawn animated game looks fantastic. Again, there's no, there's no um, negatives concerning pixels. Again, it's it's how much, uh, you know, how much of that you're working for. But again, um, I think to. No, yeah, I think River City Girls is hand drawn as well, so that's why I was like, you know, Scott Pilgrim in a sense is is also I think pixelated, but at least it's like there's so much work put into the characters that again you don't really notice it. That's that's kind of the type of thing where it's like a um I know it's I know it's a weird thing to say, but like maybe like Alien Hominid versus Contra or something where you know even if there's a, a significant time gap Contra kind of looks ugly and Alien Hominid looks a little bit better because even though the, the animation is rough it still looks like you know I, I feel like they put more work into the game itself so that's kind of my uh, you know that's kind of uh, the only things I have to say um Thank you for watching or listening to this video, um, and I am, this is Reroll Zero signing off.